Hello everyone, welcome to Delegate Workshop Connect. I am so excited to have you all here. While this might not be the format that many of you were intending, um, typically we have this workshop in an in-person format. Um, due to circumstances beyond our control, we are having it on an online setting, but um, my outreach staff has worked extremely hard, as well as has our logistics staff, to put on the best possible online workshop for you all. Um, so first off, welcome to all of our advisors and delegates. So glad to have you here. Um, our Secretariat has an incredible day of procedure and activities planned, um, and I hope that you get as much out of this workshop as we intended. Um, a little bit about me. My name is Dhruv Mandel, and I'm the USG of Outreach and Education for BMUN69. I am a senior studying biology and political science with a minor in public policy at the University of California, Berkeley. This is my fourth and final year in BMUN, and this is my second year as the USG of Outreach. Um, in my spare time, I like reading fiction novels, playing golf, and watching situational comedies. The Office and Arrested Development happen to be my favorite. Um, I, and I also love teaching and educating students. I think um, it's something that I really found that I enjoyed in college, and I'm really thankful for BMUN. Uh, for giving me uh, this platform to do what I love um, and do it well. Um, but without further ado, let's move into some topical stuff about this workshop. First off, here's our schedule. Um, so as you can see, there is a session one from 9.45 to 12 o'clock noon. Um, so those are the sessions that you will be immediately going to after this um, opening ceremony. So there are five different types of committees that focus on procedure at different levels. Um, after that, there will be a lunch break, um, with and which will lead to session two, uh, which goes from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. with two rotations uh, and four different types of workshops. So a workshop every 30 minutes. Um, and after that, um, there is session three. So it's three general workshops where everyone will attend. Um, and we have a lot of really cool cool topics this year. So we have one called Global Update, which is about how to read the news and how to interpret world issues, um, while also, you know, getting a sense of what's going on in the world today. One about a critique of international relations, so a critique of the UN, and seeing what really works in terms of international policy and what doesn't and what needs to improve. Um, and finally, um, we have a workshop on BLM, um, racism in education, and our conference called the Rafiki Coalition which I will go into. Um, but as you can see, um, going between, going from these initial session one to session two to session three, um, the head chairs will send out committee feedback forms um, and workshop feedback forms, which if completed at the end, will have the links to the next committees. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you fill out those forms at the end of every session um, and you should be good to go in terms of getting to the next uh, session. Um, a couple things when it comes to Zoom etiquette, um, we understand that it's really difficult, um, you know, to sit on a Zoom call for a very long time, but just a couple things to think about to make this as smooth as possible. Um, please mute yourself when you're not speaking. Uh, use the hand raising feature when you wish to be recognized by the chair. Um, I think this way it, it makes um, interaction in committee as not disruptive as possible. Um, delegates should also rename themselves to include your first and last name. So, Dhruv Mandel, um, please put that um, so that we could take attendance um, and make sure that uh, you're registered. Um, advisors must also rename themselves with advisor and then their first and last name so that um, we're aware of them when they come into committees, committee waiting rooms. Um, we don't want to be we don't want to turn an advisor away. Um, we want to make sure that they're able to see their students, um, but. On our end, we want we need to make sure that the people coming into our waiting rooms are advisors. Um, so if you could do that, that would be great. Um, we also encourage you to communicate with your peers and committees through the chat feature, but please be mindful of the relevance and appropriateness of your messages. Um, the Zoom chat feature is very liberal in its usage. Um, you can write a lot of different things, um, but please keep it pertinent to the workshop itself, to questions, um, to responding to peers. Um, please be respectful. Um, and please be relevant. Um, only notify your head chair directly if you leave the committee for an extended period of time. Um, uh, for bathroom breaks, please don't bother um, 
you know, notifying your head chair, but if you have to leave for some extended period of time, please notify your head chair so that they can let uh, OPI know. Um, if you have trouble reaching our head chair, hop onto OPI or email outreach at beamon.org. Um, you might've seen me throwing around the term OPI a lot, but I'll get into that in the next slide. Um, but um, OPI is really our Office of Public Info. Um, if you wanna think about it as our home base, it's staffed by myself, Annie Wren, who is the, our wonderful USG of Logistics, and Zoe Bloomfield, who is our Delegate Workshop Lead Technician. Um, so in, in OPI, delegates can find information about the DW schedule, the committee assignments, Zoom links, and can learn skills to troubleshoot technical difficulties, and more. Um, advisors here can also request information about their delegates' whereabouts, or resolve any issues here, or if they have to, register and fill out waivers for delegates, um, or have delegates fill out waivers. Um, this meeting room will be active throughout the day, um, and specifically it will be active from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., so please hop on whenever you need help. Um, please use this link to access it, as you see the Zoom link. Um, it will be available in the description below, so please do not worry. Our final thing is our conference cause. Um, our conference cause this year is the Rafiki Coalition. Um, this agency is aimed towards eliminating health inequities in San Francisco's black and marginalized communities through education, advocacy, and by providing holistic health and wellness services. Um, we are so happy to have them, um, especially since they are a very local org. They do a lot of pertinent work that's very pertinent in today's time. Um, and you can donate at their desktop site, which is linked here. Um, we will also be having a further workshop on our conference cause and on systemic racism in education and BLM, so please be on the lookout for that. Um, this will not be the last time you're hearing about Rafiki. But in terms of what our next steps are after this opening ceremony, the Zoom links to each of the five committees are in the description of this video. So all you need to do is scroll down and you will find the Zoom links. The OPI link is also attached in the description of this video, so please keep that handy as well, just in case you have any extra questions um, or extenuating circumstances that require you to, to access OPI. Um, there's also a Q&A occurring, occurring right now, which is called the Delegate Workshop Connect Q&A, that is the title. Um, it should be available in the same link that you clicked um, in the same um, YouTube page, um, where you can ask questions about the workshop, if you have any. Um, so that's going on right now, where I'm live. Um, so please, right now, you can either click on your link and go to session one committee, um, if you feel like you don't have any questions, or you can come to the Q&A, ask some questions, and then go to your committee by 945. Um, but that's all from me. Um, I really, really hope that you ha get a lot out of this workshop. Um, our secretary got a lot putting it together. Um, and once again, thank you so much for being here. We are so excited to have you. And I hope you learn a lot and have fun today. Thank you, guys.